Hi, my name is Vicky. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about this cool cereal. It's called Sweet Dream Cereal. This cereal actually is manufactured by Post the one that makes the regular cereal. But the cool thing about this cereal is that it's designed and formulated to actually help you get a good night's sleep. So this cereal actually claimed to have ingredients in there that can help with melatonin production. They're supposed to help you sleep better at night. And then pretty much what those nutrients are that helps you melatonin production are zinc, folic acid, and B vitamin. And it's also an excellent source of E vitamin as well. And this, Two cereals have been formulated with a special herbal blend known uh, which are lavender and chamomile. And this cereal has a lot of information on the back that tells you about how they got here and it really it really capitalizes on sleep. Sleep is the main thing. So every single thing information they give you here is all about sleep. Like here you have the five steps of sleep, which is um, starting with the cereal itself and then getting having a set time for bedtime pretty much what they're trying to say is that you want to sleep the same time every single day then that way you're not fluctuating back and forth and struggling with sleeping which is something that I do and the reason why I pick the cereal up is because I struggle with sleeping at night I get so wired sometimes and I'm just trying to wind down and I, I just can't so having a cereal like this if it works could be a good thing for me without having to reach for the melatonin pill. So if you're someone like me that always finds a way to reach for the melatonin pill because you just have to get a good night's sleep and there's no other option, look no further. This might be the solution we're looking for. So apart from eating the cereal, the other thing is setting the time for sleeping and then also switching off devices. The fourth thing is they want you to have 30 minutes for winding down where you have 30 minutes of just relaxing and starting to get your mindset into getting ready for bed, which I feel like is very crucial. I don't really think about that step because I'm distracted by my phone. So maybe if I actually get my phone out of the room, maybe I'll actually be able to make 30 minutes. So if you're like me, maybe you need that 30 minutes to just start winding down and get your mindset ready for bed and sleep. And then the fifth one is trying meditating or breathing techniques. I've never done that before. And I didn't even know that was something I probably should be trying for someone like me that struggles with sleeping. But I am so excited about this. And if you're someone like me, like I said, the struggles with sleeping, there might be a lot of benefits in here. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out. So they give you a brief overview about the cereal. And then they give you also vitamin E source. And then, as you can see, the different nutrients there that are supposed to help you with producing melatonin production. They give you a herbal blend that they use to actually aid sleep. A lot of people drink lavender tea, a lot of people drink chamomile tea. So actually having the blend in formulated into the cereal is just one less step you have to worry about. And then they tell you the one to five steps that you need to aid better sleep. This particular flavor is called Honeymoon Glow and this one is called Blueberry Midnight. These two cereals are the two flavors that I saw from them. I don't know if they're gonna bring in more flavors, but so far these are the only two flavors I know of. Let's look at the ingredient list real quick. So for the ingredient list, they have quite a bit of ingredients in there. It doesn't actually call out the lavender and chamomile, which I thought was pretty interesting. The calories here for one cup, one seven is 240 calories. It's got six grams of fat. It's got five grams of protein, and it's got a lot of sugar in there as well. So I think this is gonna be a really sweet one. It's got cane sugar. And same goes for this one. Actually, this one has less calories. This one has 230 calories per seven. It's got 4.5 grams of fat, which is less than this other one that has six grams. And then it's got 46 grams of carbs, a little higher than the other one, 43 grams. And this one has five grams of protein, a little less than, actually the same amount of protein in both of them, which is pretty nice. Also ingredient list looks a little bit excessive. I think this one has more ingredients than the other one does. But overall, I feel like this is the first cereal of its kind where I find the food industry. I know there's been cookies designed to actually help people fall asleep. There's been a lot of different things that has come through the works when it comes to getting people to have a better sleep. But I think this cereal might be a whole game changer. If you like cereal, I like cereal. And I think I'm going to be picking this up more often if it actually works. But not to see if it works, let's actually taste it first. And then I will be putting this to test overnight for the next couple of days and report back to let you know whether or not it works or if this is just one of this marketing gimmick to just get you to shed dollars where you don't need to. I'm gonna start with the honeymoon glow. The 
I don't know how big this bag is gonna be, but I don't think it's gonna be that big. This one has some almonds in there that I see. Yes, it's got some almonds in there. So if you have an allergy, maybe stay away from this one because it's got some almonds in there, but that's what that looks like. Bring it up to the camera. See? I think it looks more like, it's giving me like honey bunches of oats, which is my favorite cereal. I'm interested to see what this tastes like. So let's start with this. Oh, it smells really good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, let's see if it actually tastes as good as it smells. It smells like fresh baked goods. It smells like a muffin almost, which I know is kind of weird, but that's that's what I'm getting. That's what it looks like. It actually tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste like herbs. It actually has, I think I need to let it soak further. It's a little bit on the hard side. It's, it's very crunchy. It tastes like it had rice puffed cereal, kind of. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, maybe because it hasn't soaked up some milk yet in order to release the sweetness. But overall, it's not a bad cereal. I just think it's a little bit too, too crunchy for me. So I might need to give it a little bit more time to just like get softer. But flavor wise, it's not bad. Do I get honey? Not really, I don't get a lot of honey in there. As far as the flavor, like I said, pretty good flavor, smells nice, tastes good. I just feel like it's a little bit too crunchy for me. But we'll see. So I'll move on to the Blueberry of Midnight. This one. So this one has some dried blueberries in here, if you can see. Some dried blueberries in there. You can smell like dried blueberries in here can you hear how hard that is it's actually pretty hard i feel i feel like it's a little bit too hard i'm gonna try it anyways but i feel like the texture could use some work that's just my my first take this one also has almond pieces in there so if you have a nut allergy this might not be for you but you might want to try something else or maybe they might release a version that doesn't have nuts in it. I'm gonna try a bite that has blueberries in there. That actually tastes pretty good. You get blueberries, and the blueberries, even though they're dry, once you let them soak in the milk, the flavor actually comes out, and you can actually even taste blueberry flavors in the cereal pieces themselves. So it's a lot of, they really did a good job bringing out the flavor in that one. They call it a blueberry and it absolutely tastes like blueberries, which is pretty good. So good job on their part. Overall, I feel like the cereal is a little bit on the crunchy side, way too crunchy for me, but if you like a crunchy cereal, this probably is the one for you. But overall, I have nothing negative other than the texture to say about this cereal. I can't remember how much I bought it for. I'll put the price up. Once I find that out, I bought them on Amazon. I couldn't find them at my grocery store, but maybe you can find them in your grocery store when you go try to look for them. But Amazon has them and you can get it next day delivery if you have Prime. Um, overall, I feel like they're really good cereal. They taste good. Texture, a little bit too hard for me, but that's just me. But I'm letting them soak right now. So what I'm gonna try to do, like I said, is try them out for a week or two and come back to you with results whether or not they actually work as well as they claim to based on the whole research that they've done and how much they delicately and intricately formulated this product to design it for a good night sleep routine. So I am excited, I'm curious, and I cannot wait to let you know what the results are in a couple of weeks. So, so I just finished chowing down a bowl of cereal of the Sweet Dream cereal and I kid you not, I'm starting to feel sleepy and it's 8.55 p.m. so I guess, is it working? I guess it's kind of working. So I'm gonna get ready for bed, go to sleep, and um, check in with you tomorrow to see if it actually worked. So, I'll see you in a bit. I have been trying this to, oh, sorry. <laughs> Take two. So I've been trying these two cereals out for a couple of days now, like weeks, and I think what I've noticed is that it doesn't really put you to sleep but if you are kind of tired and you want a light dinner, you don't want to eat steak, you don't want to eat salmon, you don't want to eat pasta or anything heavy for dinner, and you just grab a bowl of this, I think it kind of helps for you to fall asleep faster without actually having to wait for your food to digest. 
like if we were to eat something heavier so i think it works in that sense but if you were kind of like an insomniac and you couldn't sleep or if your mind was still processing a lot of information i don't think this series would help you fall asleep if i'm being honest i don't think so because there's some nights where i had this cereal and i was trying to fall asleep but i was processing so much information i just couldn't fall asleep so this cereal did not come in clutch for me but what i would say is that the steps that they have in the back these five steps if you did two through five without actually buying the cereal i think you're gonna be fine like if you had a set time for going to sleep every night like if you went to sleep every night at seven o'clock or eight o'clock or nine every single night and you kind of kept that schedule then your body kind of knows what's about to happen nine o'clock every night or if you decide to switch your and also if you combine that with switching off all your devices like your phone or putting out of the room i think that would help and then also if you have 30 minutes of just trying to wind down which is just doing whatever your nighttime routine is of like just trying to wind down get ready for bed every single time you wanted to go to sleep i think that would help and then the last thing was trying meditation or breathing exercise i can see how that would help because a lot of us said meditation is good for you and it kind of helps calm you down and helps you relax and all that good stuff so i think if you did steps two through five i will list them on the screen i think you have a good chance of getting a good night's rest without actually having to eat the cereal i love my cereal but i don't like this particular cereal because it's kind of hard like every time I have to eat this I have to let it soak and get a little bit softer so that I have a pleasant eating experience which if I'm if I'm being honest I didn't enjoy it all the time I had it but I did it for the video and to prove to you that I actually did eat quite a bit of the cereal here is proof and I ran out of milk that was why I didn't finish this one and I just couldn't kind of sleep to go buy milk just to finish a cereal that I don't really care for anyways so I was just like it's not worth it and for this one I did eat quite a bit of this one because I just I really was trying to get with them so this is what I have left of this one I have this much left <laughs> not a ton but just a little bit left so here's that so I actually did try them all in all it's a good idea they're good ideas but are they gonna put you to sleep I don't think so if I'm being honest I don't think so but if you want to give it a try to see if you have maybe that's just me maybe it's I'm talking from my experience maybe if you try it and it's gonna put you to sleep every night you could be the one that this cereal was designed for but for me I don't think that this cereal helped me fall asleep did I have a good night sleep just because I had this cereal maybe 20% of the time maybe 20% of the time I did but then one thing I noticed was that anytime I tried eating this cereal or anytime I was eating this cereal I would kind of feel sleepy I don't know if it was placebo effect of like oh you're eating a sleepy cereal so you should fall you should start feeling sleepy I don't know if that was what it was but it wasn't 100% effective in my opinion would I buy it again no but if you want to try this one or this one I think some of the only two flavors that they have go ahead and try it out and maybe you're gonna have a better experience than I did maybe you're gonna fall asleep like if you add like a light like you just hit the bed and you're just that's it you're just gone you know but for me it was not the experience I was looking for and me not liking this cereal just totally puts me off I have to enjoy what I'm eating and if I don't enjoy it what's the point with that being said that's all I have for you for this video and that about wraps up the Sweet Dreams cereal um, <laughs> take two <laughs> that wraps up the Sweet Dreams cereal review and um, if you do try them out let me know what you think please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video I'm actually running out right now to go shoot an awesome cool video for you hopefully it's as cool as I think it's gonna be so you have to come back to see what that video is all about Till next time, 